Let's talk sharks. Now, in recent days, two separate shark attacks off Florida shores injured multiple people. So as you head to the beach this summer, what shouldn't you do when you get in the water? Here's the answer. Now, most shark experts will tell you that attacks on humans are extremely rare, right? It happens, but rare. But many of those same experts say rising ocean temperatures are pushing sharks to hunt more along coasting feeding grounds. Shark Week experts say this is the time of year when sharks move into the shallows to feed, looking for prey along the beaches. But get this, experts point out time of day matters. Don't go in the water at dusk or dawn because that's when sharks hunt. You also shouldn't go in the water with jewelry. And don't go in with plastic water bottles, get this, because that crunching sound of the water bottle sounds like fish bones. And stay away from river mouths or murky areas. Many marine wildlife biologists note that as sea temperatures rise globally, sharks are moving into new areas and distribution is changing. They say sharks have to eat more and they have to travel more to look for prey other than their historical ranges prey that may have been removed because of overfishing or habitat change. And it's not just off U.S. coasts, it's happening worldwide. Bottom line, attacks are rare, but always remain cautious. And that's the answer. Well, an Eyewitness News exclusive, we're hearing about the terrifying moments a swimmer was attacked by a shark off Del Mar in San Diego County. Eyewitness News reporter Eric Resendiz is live in Manhattan Beach with the details on this case. Eric? John Irene, just a frightening situation, especially as we head into summer. Swimmers in the water heard someone screaming shark. We have exclusive interviews with two people who jumped into action to help the man who was attacked. When we heard the screaming, I, I didn't quite hear it, what he was saying, but Kevin next to me said he said he's screaming shark. He's screaming shark. A little scary because um, you don't know what you're swimming into. You know, you arrive and you know, I've got a shark bite. Like, is this guy, does he have a chunk out of him? Does he have, you know, pieces missing? This happened yesterday morning at Del Mar City Beach down in San Diego County. The victim who was attacked, a 46 year old man named Caleb. He was swimming in the water with about a dozen other people, just about 100 feet from a lifeguard station. Now, lifeguards luckily arrived early that day. They helped the swimmers and called an ambulance. Swimmers said they noticed Caleb had been bitten in the chest and later learned that he punched the shark in an effort to try and escape punched it, he caught the, the shark on the tooth. Um, so he had a pretty big gash in his hand um, that was um, that was you know, bleeding profusely as well. And we didn't know the extent of the injuries, but there was definitely a lot of blood in the water. And so um, we started pulling him in. Um, a surfer came over and gave us his board. And so put him on the board and I jumped on top of him and started paddling in. Now, Caleb was taken to a local hospital. His injuries have been described as non life threatening. The Del Mar City Beach is closed until tomorrow. And this attack happened a week, uh, just uh, a week ago. A man, a surfer, was. This is the anomaly. Multiple reports of shark bites in South Walton County on Friday, starting at 1.20 p.m. when the first call came in. We had a 45 year old female patient, uh, was reportedly swimming just past the first sandbar with her husband. Uh, she uh, received significant trauma to the midsection and pelvic area, as well as amputation of her left lower arm. WJHG Chief Meteorologist Chris Smith's son was on the beach when that first attack happened. Well, me and my friends were um, walking down the boardwalk, and we went and got sunscreen, and my friend's mom was like, we heard somebody got bit by a shark, and we just started hearing like a bunch of emergency vehicles like um, coming right past us, and me and my friend, we were... Um, running um like behind them and we got to the like scene and there's just it was like blood it was definitely like surprising and like a little heart stopping because you don't want that to happen to anyone the woman was taken to the hospital in critical condition then less than two hours later, four miles away in Seacrest Beach, first responders got another call. Uh, there were two victims in this incident. Both victims were female between the ages of 15 to 17 years of age. Uh, I'm told they were both with a group of friends just inside the first sandbar, so very similar locations as far as uh, proximity to the shoreline uh, and about uh, waist deep water. Victims, uh, uh, victim one received uh, significant injuries to one upper and one lower extremity.
That victim was life flighted to the hospital in critical condition. The other teen, also taken to the hospital, reportedly in stable condition with flesh wounds to her foot. I think everybody did their role professionally, and I think uh, that these two ladies have a fighting chance because of that professionalism and the way that, that we interact and liaise together. I also would be remiss if I did not mention that particularly at the Founders Lane scene, there were citizens there. Uh, some had medical training and personnel. Those folks immediately jumped in and started rendering care and help. Authorities say they are consulting a shark expert to figure out why this may have happened. In Walton County, Claire Jones, News Channel. New at 10, with school out for the summer, Galveston trips are on the rise. And this next story is a reminder to be careful in the water. Oh yeah, that's because a teen says she was bitten by a shark in water only waist deep. 19-year-old Damiana Humphrey was on vacation with her family at Jamaica Beach last week. She says she was splashing around in the water when she felt teeth on her hand. Her brother screamed shark and her parents rushed into the water to help. So I thought at the time like I lost my hand or something. And then um, once I reached dad, that's when I finally saw my hand and that's when I started freaking out, basically. Yeah, you can see the teeth marks just right there. Humphrey says four tendons in her left hand were severed and her hand is now in a cast. Shark attacks are rare, we're told, so don't worry too, too much. According to the International Shark Attack File, there have only been 19 unprovoked attacks in Galveston. They need to get out. Terrifying moments in the waters off the Florida Panhandle. Two separate shark attacks in Walton County Friday. The first victim, a 45-year-old woman near a sandbar with her husband. She received significant trauma to the midsection and pelvic area, as well as amputation of her left lower arm. About 90 minutes later and four miles away, two teenagers were attacked, also near a sandbar. Victim one received significant injuries to one upper and one lower extremity. The second teen had minor injuries to her right foot, said the fire chief. This time of year is when sharks will move in shallower to feed. They're looking for prey along the beaches. Damiana Humphrey was in shallow water in May off Galveston, Texas, when a shark bit her hand. It was my body's reaction to it that probably saved me. That reaction was to punch the shark in the face. The face was the only thing that like came up out of the water. It let her go. Surgeons repaired several torn tendons in her hand and her recovery continues. Most shark experts point out time of day matters. Don't go in the water at dusk or dawn because sharks are crepuscular hunters. And that's when we went during dusk. Don't go in the water with jewelry. Don't go in the water with plastic water bottles because that crunching sounds like fish bones. Stay away from river mouths or murky areas. Bottom line, attacks are rare, but always remain cautious. I'm Laura Aguirre reporting. Oh my gosh, look at that. Tonight, authorities in Florida on high alert, patrolling the waters by boat and helicopter after three people were injured in separate shark attacks. You can see multiple sharks spotted from above in Bay County. Authorities warning of a notable presence, specifically bull sharks, urging beachgoers to be cautious. The warnings come after a 45-year-old woman was bitten in waist-high water at Watersound Beach in Walton County, critically injured, her arm amputated. Then, 90 minutes later, about four miles away, another attack on two teenagers. Officials tell ABC News they believe one eight-foot bull shark may be responsible. Similar attacks injuring swimmers in Hawaii, California, and Texas, triggering temporary beach closures in some areas. Researchers say the number of bull sharks, one of the most aggressive species in the world, has increased significantly in recent years and that warmer seawater is to blame. Rena Roy, ABC News, New York.
Officials in Florida are warning beachgoers to be cautious after two shark attacks on Friday. It happened in the South Walton area of the Florida Panhandle. One woman was attacked as she swam in the water. Her lower arm had to be amputated. A short time later, two teenage girls at a beach nearby were also attacked by a shark as well. At last check, only one of the attack victims was out of the hospital. CNN's Rafael Romo Jones is live now from Atlanta with a closer look. Um, I mean, this is really terrifying. You had these two attacks basically about four miles or so apart. Just explain to us a bit more about the conditions of the victims at this point. Yeah, Zane, many people would agree with you. Very terrifying. But what officials are telling us is that at the same time, it is exceedingly rare. And Zane, it happened in an area that is very popular with tourists, especially in the summer. Many of our international viewers may be fam familiar with it. Water Sound Beach and Seacrest Beach are between Destin and Panama City Beach in Florida. Officials are trying to determine the cause of the two separate shark attacks Friday afternoon that happened in the span of less than 90 minutes and only about four miles apart. According to authorities, a 45-year-old woman suffered significant trauma to her midsection and pelvic area, as well as the amputation of her left lower arm. In the second attack, the victims were two girls between the ages of 15 and 17. The first victim suffered what officials described as significant injuries to one upper and one lower extremity, both requiring the application of tourniquets. The second victim has minor wounds to her right foot. Walton County officials said what happened is, again, very tragic, but historically, that kind of attack, you don't see, you don't see it very often. Let's take a listen. They're highly unusual, um, and it's extremely unusual for two to happen in the same afternoon within four miles of one another. Um, as the sheriff mentioned, we're, we're, we're reaching out to, to speak to subject matter experts as to what may, you know, what may be causing that, what, you know, that it's the, the, the golf temperatures, the steering current, whatever that is. And Zane, you may remember that on May 28th, there was another incident in Galveston Beach, that's in Texas, where a 19-year-old woman was bitten in her left hand by a shark but survived, as reported by CNN affiliate K. Uh, PRC on Sunday, the South Walton Fire District in Florida issued a warning on X, and I'm going to read it to you. We are guests in the Gulf, the post says. We all must accept some amount of risk when entering the water. That does not take away from these two ladies whose lives are changed forever, but looking for someone to blame is not the answer. There was also another incident on Friday when a woman in the water near Oahu's North Shore in Hawaii was was wounded from an apparent shark bite. The Honolulu Emergency D Services Department said the 25-year-old victim suffered multiple serious lacerations from an apparent uh, shark bite. But again, as terrifying as these cases can be, shark attacks are ex exceedingly rare. Zane, back to you. Yeah, it is important to note that, yeah, I mean, I, I agree with that statement. We are guests in, in the Gulf. Um, but as you point out, this is very, very rare. It just doesn't happen mm. uh, every day there. All right, Rafael Rimmel, live for us there. Thank you so much. Soquel Cove, home to dozens of juvenile sharks this year, which is something that's still fairly new to the area. Shark experts say these juvenile white sharks began migrating to the area around 2015, giving it the name Shark Park. The place has been well known for the larger sharks since the whaling days. What, what is relatively new are these juvenile white sharks moving up. If you go back in time to year 2000, they're almost exclusively down in Baja. Sean Van Summeran, who's been tracking these magnificent beasts for 30 years, says there's more sharks this year compared to the past two. Some years, like 2019, we're seeing, you know, two, three dozen at a time, which is unusual. Right now, uh, two dozen is one of the reports I got. We haven't seen that many. But there's a lot of pilots and other drone pilots uh, scanning around, and those are some of the reports. Back in 2020, well-known surfer Ben Kelly was attacked in Shark Park, which ended up being fatal. Recently, there was a shark attack in San Diego and two others in Florida, which has amplified people's attention toward the uptick in shark activity in Soquel Cove. But sharks have layers to them, just like humans do. But they're not out there, you know, mindlessly hunting down everything they see. They're actually very specific. And what we've observed just anecdotally, you know, is that they are extremely sensitive to their surroundings and what they're approaching. 
when we can facilitate those safe relationships uh, and give animals their space but still appreciate them and celebrate them, I think that's where we both win. Developing now, a shark attack in Hawaii has claimed the life of a world-renowned surfer. Honolulu officials say 49-year-old professional surfer and lifeguard Tamayo Perry was killed in the attack just before one yesterday afternoon off the north coast of Oahu. Tamayo Perry was a, a lifeguard loved by all. Tamayo's personality was in, infectious, and as much as people loved him, he loved everyone else more. Lifeguards recovered Perry's body by jet ski after a caller told dispatchers it appeared he had suffered more than one shark bite. He was known as one of the greatest surfers in the world and even appeared in movies and television, including Blue Crush with Kate Bosworth. Perry's death marks the second shark attack on the island this month. Perry is survived by his wife.